Hey guys and gals, Malcolm 1974 back at you with another new series. A series from Ark Survival Evolved. This is my hermit survival series. What does that mean? This means that I am basically a hermit in this game, which means I'm pretty much always by myself kind of thing. And well, I have been playing for about two weeks and I didn't really know if I wanted to do a Let's Play on Ark Survival Evolved, but I'm literally playing it so much that I have to do it to, <laughs> to fill in the time that I pretty much play this game as much as I possibly can, even more than Kerbal Space Program and Minecraft combined at this point. So anyway, welcome to my little humble abode. Uh, let me show you around. This right here is a a little closet that holds a few things here and there. We'll get more into that stuff a little bit later. We are on the second floor, so this is floor number two. We come down here. This is part of floor number one, or the base floor. And this is just a little hallway. There's nothing in it. And I will tell you, because hermits live very, very sparsely, I would say. And this is just another storage area where I have very limited act supplies. Stuff that you can get pretty much anywhere. I got some foundations here. We'll get into using these foundations a little bit later. Probably not in this episode, but, uh, you know, it's all the basic stuff. And we'll go outside. And here we go. So, this is the outside of the base. You can see the main house. It's made out of stone. Supposedly, the stone is resistant to uh, dino attacks themselves. Uh, I got a fencing around this area. This this in in area right here is actually a dino pen where I would keep probably one large dinosaur and maybe a few small dinosaurs. Unfortunately, the one dinosaur I did have at one point was killed, but uh, we'll get into that later. And we'll kind of come up here, open up my doors, shut my doors, and we will. Just take a look. So that is my little house. Very small, uh, very well protected. If anybody has played Ark Survival Evolved, you will know that I am on a play. play uh, I am on a uh, player versus player server. So I can tell you now that it's uh, it's quite dangerous playing this game with other players. There is no rules. There is no there's no mercy. I would say it's not really that there's no mercy when it's player versus player. If you see a player, most of the time, 99% of the time, they're very friendly and will not harm you, which is kind of strange. But the minute you log off of your account, your character actually still stays in the world. He kind of flops over, falls over, and falls asleep. So you're still represented in the world even though you're not there. And people can, you know, harass you do all kinds of strange things to you. That is why you build a base for your body can survive and you can hold your loot. Unfortunately, you, your base is also very accessible to any type of player attack. And right now, my base is mostly all stone. I do have some wood stuff up there. It's just to cover up people seeing inside of it if I have a dino in there. Uh, also surrounded by these spikes. If you touch the spikes, they hurt you. So that kind of deters people from attacking your base with dinosaurs and other stuff. Uh, as a hermit, I need to live... Uh, I need to make it for people do not want to attack my base. So let's actually go through what I mean by that. Well, I consider my base to have... By the way, I could care less if somebody attacked my base. Uh, there is nothing in my base. It would cost them more money to break into my base than they would actually... Uh, get from breaking into my base if you if you get what I'm saying so that's so, that's like that's one of my main survival tips to anybody that plays it by themselves do not build huge elaborate bases because you're just gonna be butt hurt when you <laughs> you, you log on one day and it's and you're told you're dead and you have to respawn and unfortunately you, can, you, you no longer can respawn in your own base which is a, a pretty good clue that you're your uh, your base is gone. Yes, that's right. Somebody on can completely destroy your base while you're offline 
not here to defend it. Not that you could defend it as a single player anyway against a large group of people, but what you want to do is you want to deter them from wanting to destroy your base. What I mean by that is that it costs a, a pretty decent amount of money to destroy a stone base right now. Uh, from what I understand as of this video, dinosaurs cannot and will not destroy anything above wood. I mean, anything above stone. Now, they can destroy wood and thatch bases. This is a stone base, mostly a stone base, with, see, I even got stone fencing around here. So that is my, that is basically my defenses. Now, I like to consider that I have a a tiered defense system. It really isn't a, a tiered defense system, and I'm not going to get into the whole thing, but um, basically they would have to either, if they're stupid, blow down this door or blow down one of these. Uh, they'd most likely go for this to avoid the spikes. They'd have to go through here. That would cost them some, uh, some explosives. Then they would have to either go through the door or through one of these walls, right? So once they go through that and they get into a room, well, now they have to destroy one of these doors. Which door do they destroy? Well, if they watch the video, they will know which door to destroy, but uh, actually they would have to destroy both doors if they want to get to the loot, right? So that's another, dis that's another door they have to destroy. And um, right now they could just go through the wall if they wanted. That would be cheaper, but uh, eventually we're going to get all these upgraded. Uh, so they would have to go through here, and then they would have to go through here, and... Finally, if they wanted to get to the loot room, they would have to go through this door. Uh, so, yeah, so that's what I mean by it's a tiered system. You want to you want to sort of avoid them wanting to destroy your place. And not like I said, I don't have very much in here anyway. I do not stockpile stuff. Uh, I build what I use. And, I mean, I do have a, st a few things here and there, like wood and stone and stuff like that, that I have left over, but... As for like stockpiling metal and stuff like that, I don't really stockpile on, uh, very much of it because I just know that would make me a target. So yeah, so we kind of we'll go over most of the stuff a little bit later. Let's go check out some other buildings on my server. I am on a public server, by the way. Yes, if you've heard the nightmares of being on a public server, it is a nightmare. When I first logged into, when I first played this game. I was killed my very first night. I was stupid enough to make a thatch building. Thatch, by the way, is the first tier of building for Ark Survival. I was stupid enough to make one of those, and unfortunately, I died. I died good. And uh, thatch house was destroyed. Yeah, so uh, thatch and wood. Wood is your best bet if you can't make stone. But between wood and stone, your best bet is to make stone because it's not much difference other than the fact that you got to get stone. And stone is a little bit annoying to get in this game. But if you uh, uh, go with it, you'll be all set. So we'll go down here. This is a couple of my neighbors. I've met a couple of these guys. I have not met this guy. So this is a guy. I don't know if it's a clan, if there's more than one or not. I haven't been on enough to uh, notice it. But you can tell he's, he's built a... Uh, a system here with he's got some dinos and I don't know if those are spawn dinos or has he put them in there but he's got his gates closed off here uh, all these are wood gates if you're looking at them he does have stone bricks stone bricks uh, over here for his main base it looks like he's uh, protecting himself over there this is a thatch building by the way it's been here forever I don't know this Clint Westwood guy I don't even know if I uh, will go look down here and there's another base. I've met these guys. These guys actually gave me the pin to one of their gates if I want to use it, but I've never really used it. So these guys are another guy, a set of guys over here. These guys, when I first started making it and I talked to them, uh, said that they were they were raided. They were kind of butt hurt about it. Uh, I don't know who raided them. Uh, now that's the thing. If you make big, elaborate bases like this you're perceiving to others that you have something to hide and well you're gonna probably get raided so yeah but for whatever you know for what for what it is from what, what this server what server I'm on I'm not gonna name the server I'm on by the way but uh, uh, from w what I can tell that this server isn't as bad as some of the other servers out there some servers you got clans that have are become so powerful that uh, that you get destroyed nightly 
and you can't build and stuff like that. So that's a real bummer for some people. This is Dodo Slayers. So this is their building over here. I was wondering who their build this building was too. Yeah, Dodo Slayers. Hmm. Must be it must be a clan. Dodo Slayers. The Dodo Slayer clan. Yeah. So this is where I live. This is where everything goes on. This is where everything happens. And there's not much more we can talk about right now at this minute. But I'm gonna do some I guess I'm not going to do any of that. Huh. I'm going to do some mining for some more uh, stone, and I'll be right back. Actually, do I have my stone pit? I do. I do have my metal pit. Yeah, I am pretty highly leveled, by the way. I'm not, like, no wimp. I am level 33, so I have been playing for about two weeks. I do have a few things, but I've been doing pretty damn well, I would say to myself. I would say to myself. Did I say that right? Okay. Well, anyway, I'll be back, guys. Guys and gals, one thing I can highly suggest when you are mining for rocks, instead of bringing back one big load of uh, rocks, you know, as you get your... Uh, where is it? Where is it? My weight is getting close to uh, being at... Where are you? Where are you, Mr. Bad, Bad Thing? It's starting to get dark again? Really? Anyway, instead of uh, doing get some more stone here, so I want to make a few stone buildings. So instead of like get a whole stash of oh, I got some metal on that one too, a whole stash of them. What I usually do is I lower my stuff by going into this, and I will make a where is it? Oh yeah, it would be way down here, wouldn't it? Okay, stone walls. So I make a couple stone walls like that and if you notice my weight has gone down and I used up a lot of that oh great now it's getting dark god dang it it's always dark in this game and by the way the darkness in this game completely sucks you, I, I can understand how they why they have it dark like it is but uh, from a game perspective for playing uh, it's really terrible and all anybody ever does is uh, they cheat anyway and they they, uh, they turn up the gamma I haven't really found a way to do it with my with my game, my setup yet. I mean, I really haven't tried, but uh, right now it doesn't look all that bad. Oh, there's a green, green pickup over there. Let's go pick that up. Let's see what that is. I need some walls. We, we're, we're okay with that. Oh, we've got a dillo right there. These guys spit at you, if you're wondering. Not again. That's right. You're dead. Hmm. Doo, 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 doo. Yeah. So all those little uh, light things that you see, those are uh, airdrops, and what they do is they drop off. You can pick certain things up from them. Uh, it's kind of a random thing, and as of this writing, it's kind of a sucky random thing. But uh, I've never really found anything good in there. Here comes another one. gonna spit at me in a second. There he goes. Just had to dodge him a little bit. Oh! Oh crap. Oh crap. Where is he? Oh! Yeah, see, that? that's what happens when they hit you. And I can't see him now. Maybe I can... There. What was that? Three of them I just took on? I've taken on like a pack of five of those things before. And as you can tell, it's really starting to get dark now. And unfortunately, recording-wise, you guys probably ain't gonna be able to see this. And let's see if there's any piranhas in here today. Giant piranha. Or are they called monster piranha? I don't know. Why does it look like I'm not moving? Oh, I am. <laughs> That's also been getting cold. All these guys are friendly, by the way. They won't hurt you. Unless you stab them. And then one of them will run, and the other one will try to stomp your face in. The turtle will try to stomp your face in. Very slowly, but he can. Got my torch out. We'll give us some light here. 
Usually this is a bad idea. But for recording sakes, you just want to see what's up here. Yeah, he won't hurt me either. He's our friend. We're good hermits. He's like the the imp. Uh oh. Whew. That means somebody got that. And I just saw him. We saw him at the corner of my eye. That's why I shut my light out. Because we really don't want to uh, be chased by anybody right now. What the hell is that? Oh crap! I think that is a... Is that a Tyrannosaurus? <laughs> I think so. I think so. What the hell is chasing me? Run! Run, Hermit Man! Run! See, that is why it's a bad idea to use a light at night. I don't know if that was a player or what, but we were definitely being chased by something big. It looked like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'm very good at running away, by the way. Hermit Swin again! All right, now I just need to find out where my uh, house is. Oh yeah, let's kind of go back this way. While I'm on the thing, I'll pick up some routes. Hello. Well, anyway, guys, I'll get home and I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, I'm back home. I got some torches up to help us. Hope some standing torches to hopefully help us see what we're doing at night, because it does get nighttime a lot in here. We got him in the house too. Yeah, that's real realistic, huh? That's really realistic. That is cement up there, though. So anyways, the reason we got those walls is I wanted to replace these walls over here. So let's go like that. You can easily replace walls by just clicking like this on an old wall. And 90% of the time it works. Sometimes it don't, though. Let's see. Is it because I just... Yeah, it's not going to work, is it? Because the door is in the way, right? And let's do this over. There we go. Sometimes they glitch like this. It's weird. But I think I know what's causing that. That's alright. We can, uh... Usually it's this thing right here. So we usually just have to demolish it. And close this door this. You're like, why did you just demolish that? Because it's really easy to fix. For whatever reason, it's not working on this side. Still not working, huh? Alright, let's just demolish the wall. Let's see what the problem is here. There we go. Oh, now it's backwards. Of course. <laughs> these, these walls are terrible. I don't like them. But, hey, they work for what we need them for. And, while we're at it, I think something I want to... Do I want to make that... Or do I want to keep this open? We do need to replace this door. Can I... Do I have enough to replace the door? Let me take a look. Uh, no, where is it? Stone. I need 30 stone. Hmm. Let's see here. Some, oh, I did. There's some ladders right there. There's some ladders. And seven. And you don't want a place, do you? Uh, the placement in this game is kind of annoying. A lot of times this stuff happens. You can't place anything. Yep. Welcome to Ark Survival, where nothing freaking works. Alright, so that means we'll just have to make 
another one of those slopey slopes. I should be able to make one. I destroyed enough stuff to uh, do it. Where are you, slope? There you are. Look, I'm gonna level up again pretty soon. I'll be level. I'll be level 34. Yay! Inventory. Place you. And we'll go like this. What? No. Oh, that is a bunch of crack. This is on the other side. Yes. Alright, demolish. Wow, I'm having bad luck today with this. Can I build it again? That is the question. I can, yay. Must have had enough wood. See if I can get it right this time. Now we're on the right thing, right? Yes. So we got that back. Go back up here. All I have left as as wood in my house. My house used to be all wood, by the way. Are these ceilings and this door, and this one over here, and this one, which is which is pretty nice. What was I looking for? Oh, I was looking for. In here. Let's see. I do have some extra wood in here. I do have some stone. Let's see if we can do some upgrades and use up this stuff where we don't have to worry about it. Uh, what am I missing? I need thatch. I don't know if I have any thatch. Oh, I do. I have 34. I don't know if that's enough to uh, keep me going, though. Let me see. I wonder if I should go for the ceiling, the walls first. Hmm. Let's do another wall. I'll go into inventory. Inventory, I said. We'll go like this. And let's see if we can replace this wall. Nope. Nope. Alright, then let's demolish the wall. There we go, that's a stone wall now. I guess it's becoming dawn out. That's usually what that music means. So it's becoming dawn. And. Anymore. So, uh, much of anything. Yeah, send me that. Alright, so I can actually make another one of these. And a reinforced door. Nice! Wow, we did a bunch of upgrades in this episode. That's cool. I'm thinking we're just gonna have to destroy this. Demolish. Demolish. And. Bam. And. Bam. There, I'll set the pin code a little later when you guys aren't watching. <laughs> so look at that. Upgraded the house. Some more. We got rid of. A lot of the stuff that was easy to break through, now I have stone, pretty much everything except this floor. I will have to do that a little bit later, because you have to, well, they, they actually said they fixed it where you didn't have to move the floor, but pretty sure we'll find out here. I want to put this in my mortar and pedestal. We do need that in there. There you go. I think we have covered the introductory to me and my survival on this server, this particular server I should say. And 
we will be back next episode, whenever that will be. I'll try to make I'll try to make these as much as possible. This is probably gonna start filling in my Minecraft at a single survival as that kind of winds down and I run out of things to do. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. This is Makuth 1974. See you later, Makuth. Out of here.